position but the generals and the commanders and everybody who's in high positions they serve the army and the people who are actually going to war they don't lead from the back they lead in front so it's very important if we are going to say we are taking over the next election even if we don't take it nationally or but we take it maybe a per region or provincial the small space that we are going to obtain what is our action plan because the constitution has a lot of good ideas. We want to change the reserve banks, we want to change finances, we want to do one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Those sound good to someone on come canvas at some outside, begin over board. But what's your action plan? So my suggestion is one, for the next elections, maybe in four or five years time, probably we'll be ready by then. How do you think about it? How do you think about it? How do you think about it? So that we have a very poster. We want to have a talk about the Marnuke are saying this work. I would like to come as a family woman because there's many other political parties that do the very same thing. The reason why about, I ask about action plan is because when you speak about um, taking out maybe the plan of foreigners and focusing first in South Africa and nationally, I don't think that our enemy is call black people, especially because the name African and Africa is in the name of the political party. Our main fight is those five families that are holding the money in the reserve banks. So now my question is, if we are fighting against those people, how is AAR getting their money to feed its own people apart from their taxes? Because the taxes also still come from the money of the very same people you are trying to feed. We need to understand, and I like what you said, how hey, South Africa is, we must understand the economy that it comes from. South Africa is a mixed economy. There's people who still rely on the traditional methods of eating. How do we make sure how we plant things, like in food, so that things like vegetations and milk and basic needs for people are actually not for sale, but they're actually given out? How do we improve our healthcare services so that they're actually accessible and free to people that actually deserve it? For example, ESCOM, that is not even serving us well. Plan of action, AAR, to say rather it ESCOM being a micro organization of providing electricity. And we have a lot of graduates for engineering. Are we able to open up that economy and that industry enough to plant their own business ideas to actually provide electricity to their own personal communities? Even if it will supply electricity for a wall or for a district or a region, but it will keep on growing and growing. How are we saying we keep on putting money go ESCOM and we have a lot of coals and mines and then they are abroad, but we have people inside who can actually provide the solar systems, things that don't even need the raw materials any longer. I think as young people, we are understanding correct. the world is advancing. The world is actually growing and it's expanding. We can't use the old ways like you've said in your opening speech and then expect a different result. As young people, we are sitting at home with skills and we have a lot of good ideas, you understand? But we don't have the backing and the finances to actually get through to these things. Now, it's good to, like I've said before, and I want to reiterate my point, it's good to have an idea, but the how is most important. If we can generate our own money, then we can't feed our people. 
if we can't generate our own money, because we're talking into the very same system as the previous political party. of South Africa if they give us this loan and then back. But we can't. Another plan of action, sir. If there is a matriculant, for example, like Buffett said results in 2023, if there's a matriculant that did not do well in the previous year, let's put them in the army. Let's make being in the army a mandatory thing for young people because they sit and they get idle. The mind gets tired. Now, if you keep people busy, then we can be able to work together. Now, I'm the type of person who oh, will change the entire system, and I know it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. But it's important for how we in the ministers, parliament, and then we are saying AAR is now leading. What is our point of action? Are we able to get people who are in the medical field to lead healthcare department? Are we able to get people who are sports people to actually lead the sports department? People who have the knowledge, because obviously this whole Mix match, mix masala. Now, Minister of Police, Selling, Minister of Sports, who oh, unfit has to be anything like that. Now, we are actually moving the with the systems and the because le plan ya day haina action like i'm saying it's just a good idea but it doesn't actually have a plan now if we create that system and say okay we are going to make south africa uncomfortable for at least three months but it will live in comfort for eternity then let's change the narrative let's change that plan that is all i needed to say Thank you.